As you recall in the spell check training video, when you come across a misspelled word that isn't misspelled, but word thinks it is, like the words lang lang, I know it's pretty fun to say. You want to say it? I'll wait. Go ahead. Say it. Lang lang. You can go ahead and right click on the word, like the first lang, and add it to the dictionary, and there you go. It's no longer considered misspelled, except for the second word because word doesn't like repeated words. So you can right click on that one, and you can delete the repeated word or choose to ignore it for this session only. So when I do that, and I close out a word, and I open it back up again, this document, we'll get the red squiggly back for the second repeated word. And if you made a mistake, and you're like, oh, well, actually, Lang is misspelled, you can go backstage, click on File, go down to Options, select Proofing, and click on Custom Dictionaries. And there you go, select it, click on Edit, and there's the only word that we added. So you're probably thinking, where in the heck are all the other words that Word keeps track of that are misspelled? Well, Word has its own hidden dictionary. This is just for us. So, if I want this to be misspelled again, i got to take it away from the dictionary. Select it, click Delete, click Okie Dokie, click OK, click OK, and we're back to it being misspelled. And then you can see down below, it doesn't like my name spelled K-I-R-T. When I right-click, it wants a U in it. Oh, that's just crazy. Go ahead and click off, and then we've got Slarty Bartfast. Doesn't like the first or the last name. So I can go ahead and add them to the dictionary, and I can do it one of two ways. I can either, of course, right-click to add them to the dictionary, or go backstage and click on Edit the Dictionary, and then type in their names. Now, you can add additional dictionaries besides the default one that we just looked at, the only one that we have available right now. You can add a second, third, fourth, as many dictionaries as you would like. And why would you want to do that? Well, for this example, let's say that I have a bunch of friends with funny names, or names that Word considers funny or misspelled. And so, just for this session, I want to create maybe a second dictionary that I could add all the names to that so I don't see the red squigglies underneath all these names. And then when I'm done editing this document, I can go back and remove that second dictionary, and so everything will be considered, all these names, misspelled again. So in this example, if you need something temporary, then let's go backstage, File. Go to Options, Proofing, Custom Dictionaries, and you have to select Custom, the default here, before you get the New option. Click on New, and we'll name it Friends, because all my friends have misspelled names according to Word. Then hit Enter on the keyboard, and there you go. We've got the default, and then we have Friends. So in either one, you can go ahead and select and click on Edit, and type in their names, like my first name, Kurt, click Add. And you can keep doing it that way, or you can right-click to add them to the dictionary. Let me click Okie Dokie. But when you right-click, that brings up a good point. Which dictionary does it add it to? Well, the default one. Which brings up another good point. Word will check all the dictionaries, not just the default one, to be able to determine if a name is misspelled. So it'll check that one, that one. The only purpose of the default one, as far as what we're looking at right now, is when we use the right-click to add a word to the dictionary. So let's go ahead and select it, the friends, and say you want to change that to the default. So when I right-click, instead of adding it to the custom dictionary, then all my friends' names will go to this one here. So let's go ahead and click OK, click OK. Now remember, we already added Kurt to the dictionary, the friends' dictionary. We also want to add Slarty, right-click, add, Bartfast, add. Oh, something's going on here. Uh, we'll ignore that and see if it's in the dictionary. Let's go backstage file, down to options, proofing, custom dictionary, friends, edit, and there's Slarty. Uh, something must be going on where a word just happens to want to see it as being misspelled again. In any case, it shouldn't. It's probably just ghosting out on me, giving me a big spook. It'll refresh, and it should be okay. In any case, they're all added there. And so that's all in the friends dictionary, the default one. With the right click, it adds it. Let me go ahead and click Cancel, go to the Custom, click on Edit, and type in Lang, because right now it sees that as misspelled. Click on Add, click Okie Dokie, and the purpose of this is to show you that with an additional dictionary, whether it's the default or not, Word does check all the dictionaries. So Lang, when I click Okie Dokie, Okie Dokie, should go back to not being misspelled. Cool. Oh, then it cleaned it up. It says, oops, our mistake. Slardy is not misspelled. It's actually spelled correctly according to what we have in our dictionary. And then, of course, that's the second ling. It doesn't like repeated words. So now if we're done with our temporary friends dictionary, then we can go ahead and click on File, go backstage to Options, 
stay with me, proofing, custom dictionaries, there we go. I want to get rid of it, and I don't want to have issues with the default when I'm getting rid of something, so let's go back to custom, change that to the default. Now with friends, you can go ahead and uncheck it, and then click OK, click OK, so it's still there for you to use if you check it, so Word can go ahead and say, OK, that's part of what we're checking for, and that way you don't have to recreate it if you want to use it again. So here we go, file, options, whew, I'm getting dizzy, custom dictionaries, and then go ahead and check friends, click OK, and then click OK again, and we're back to where we were. Now, one more time, OK? Oh, file, options, I'm going to spew, proofing, custom dictionaries, because if you go ahead and you decide to remove friends, select it and click remove, yeah, it's gone, but if you need it back, you know what? Go ahead and select custom, and then go ahead and click on add, and you can add your friends back in. So instead of saying you want to create something new, you just want to add them back in. So it sits in a folder out there on your computer, and just not showing up in the dictionary list. So even though you remove it, they're still hiding out, and you can bring them back in. It's the only way to permanently get rid of it, so it's not there in case if you're worried about somebody else clicking on add and going, ooh, what's all this? Let's go ahead and select it and say we want to remove it, and then go ahead and select Custom Dictionary again, then click on New. So it opens up the window, and in the window, Friends is still there until we right-click on it and delete it, say Yes. Now we can go ahead and click Cancel and say we want to add. Of course, we deleted it, so can't bring it back in. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.